What's up everybody? Hope you're all doing well and good on Wednesday the 4th of um, 4th of April. Uh, for me it's the Easter holidays, uh, although I am at work this week. Uh, because I work in a college, we uh, it's slightly different with the holidays. The holidays are the same and the, the students are off, but um, <clears throat> I don't automatically get all the holidays off. So I'm in this week, I'm off next week, so I might try and do some kind of... Um, I say challenge, I'm not entirely sure because I'm, I'm out a couple of days next week, so I thought maybe um, try and do something different, but I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. However, I am figuring I'll stay on plan. Um, today, obviously, is Wednesday. Last Wednesday, uh, I had way day. I'm back to normal. Um, this week, in fact, I had a really nice text earlier on uh, from my consultant just saying like she's looking forward to um, <clears throat> she's looking forward to having me back in group tomorrow. So that'd be quite nice. I would I would show you the text, but I'm recording on my phone, so that's. Uh, that's why I can't share the text. But it's really nice that I have a consultant that will do that. She'll often text me midweek, um, see how I'm doing. If I've had a particularly good week, she'll text me saying, well done, congratulations. If I've had a particularly bad week, she'll text me saying, do you need any help, etc., etc." Or if I missed a week uh, because I had to wait in somewhere else, then she'll text me saying, I'm looking forward to, to seeing you back in. So that's a really good, really good thing. Um, so it's one of the benefits of my group is that I have a really good consultant. I know there's some people out there don't have massively good consultants, but I think part of the um or maybe a big part of the uh, kind of slimmer world experience is if you get a good consultant it can just help um <clears throat> massively in that motivation and stuff like that so um so yeah i've got a really good one i know that there are some people out there who subscribe to this uh, channel that don't have the best consultants um but mine's really good so i'm, I'm really lucky in that regard um a couple of things to go through. First of all, um, the, the drum video that I put up on Saturday or Sunday, whatever it was. Um, I completely forgot <clears throat> that I can upload stuff and set it as private, uh, which I didn't realise until about three days after I'd posted it, which would make it today. So maybe a day or two after I posted it. I completely forgot that you could set it as private. So I, I never intended, it wasn't like a, like a, an attention grab or anything like that. I just, I needed to upload it and I forgot that I could set it as private. So anyway, I want to keep it up because the response has been really positive. Um, well, in, in some regards, uh, but the reason that I did it, I didn't do it because I'm going to start flooding this channel with, with band stuff or drum stuff or anything like that. Um, we are basically looking for ways to record a, a new EP without going out and spending loads of money in a studio for a weekend. Because we've all got different things going on, kids and work and that kind of stuff, it's really difficult. So what we want to do is try out a few different options. Um, and I've got a set of microphones for my actual drum kit, for my acoustic drum kit, um, <clears throat> but no... Uh, interface so I, I I won't bore you with all the details but I don't have any way at the moment of recording my uh, current acoustic drum kit but I do have a way of recording my electric drum kit um, but what so what I did was I recorded that Muse song just to test out the levels and then tried to edit everything together just to see how the edits how the levels worked as it turns out um, I, I need to work on the levels a little bit but when I was editing it all together I think my computer struggled to handle the amount of stuff that was going on because I had at, so at some points there was the actual video, uh, the main video, there was the overlay video of my feet, there was the actual track being played and there was the drum track being played as well. So there's four different tracks um, going on and my computer was, was just struggling to keep up with it all. So it kept kind of like skipping a bit or slowing down and I couldn't see if it was in time or not. And if you notice there are a few little bits that are out of sync in terms of the, the video and the music aren't quite um, in sync together. So that's the only reason I uploaded it. So don't worry, I'm not going to flood the... Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to flood the channel with, with drum stuff or anything like that. So, But it got a lot of positive attention, which was really good. It got more attention than some of my other videos, to be honest. Um, so the attention on the video was great. I somehow now I'm down five subscribers, but whatever. I don't really care about subscribers. It's, it's not why I do this. But yeah, it was weird that the actual comments and the likes on the video and the views were really good. But within two days, I'd suddenly lost five subscribers. So lots of comments about the, um, the shoes, which are great. I love these shoes. Um, yes. They are the light up. Oh, I don't know if you can see that ever so well. Focus. The downside is, if I put it on the blue, um, they're supposed to light up all the way around, but unfortunately they are broken. And some people commented, oh, I must have um, really patient neighbours or a really good relationship with my neighbours. Because it's an electric drum kit, it doesn't make that much noise. So um, this is what it sounds like without the music, just, just with the, the, the drums recorded through the computer, and you'll see it's a bit boomy in places. So that's the actual drum noise as recorded, but in terms of what neighbours hear, um, in terms of noise pushing, it's pretty much just this. So 
So that's it's not it's nothing bad at all. You might hear the odd pad being hit, but <clears throat> the benefit of having an electric kit is everything's recorded through the computer, so you don't really hear a lot. Anyway, that's enough of that. I just wanted to kind of acknowledge and appreciate the fact that there was loads of good comments, uh, loads of good feedback on that. So thank you for that, but I'm not going to flood the channel with it. Um, what I did think, a few years ago, when I lost weight before starting Slimming World, I did the Special K Challenge, which is basically two bowls of Special K uh, over the course of the day and then a regular meal. And I thought about doing that again, but I'm not entirely sure how it would work. Um, because, like I say, I'm, I'm away on journeys and stuff next week, so I don't quite know if I can do that. Um, it's a it's a possibility if I can try and work the two bowls into my evening meal as opposed to my dinner and like breakfast and lunch, um, lunch dinner whatever you call it. Um, but I, I don't know. It's, it's something I thought about doing just to see how it would work and maybe have like a so two bowls of cereal and then like a slimming world main meal or something like that. I don't know. It, it it's a possibility. I thought about it. I might not do it. Um, and then I just thought I'd talk about the corn stuff as well that I bought because um, I seem to be like on a corn high at the moment. Everything that I've tried is really, really nice. So I made a video last week about what stuff I'd bought. Um, <clears throat> so there was the things like the southern fried bites, the nuggets, the sausage patties, the burgers, the pieces, the mints, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the, the nuggets and the southern fried bites and the sausage patties I've all tried, they're all great. I would recommend them, absolutely. Um, I haven't had the burgers yet and I haven't had the pieces. And what I was thinking was, I'm going to have like a, a Weight Watchers wrap with the chicken pieces in and some, maybe some mayonnaise um, and just see what that, that's like. I did try the Southern Fried Bites in a Weight Watchers wrap with some chips, which I'll, I'll put here. I'll put it on Instagram, but I'll put it here as well. That was really, really nice. So I'm thinking the chicken bits might have the same effect. But yeah, so far, everything I've had from the corn range has been really, really good. I don't know when I became the corn king. I think it was, was it Kate or Sarah coined that phrase, the corn king? I don't know, but... I really enjoy their stuff um, and it's quite low sin and it's quite cheap and it's quite easy to cook you put it in the oven for like 18 minutes and it cooks it so and the sausages are really nice the sausage patties are really nice uh, the mince was pretty good when I tried it the southern fried bites are nice the chicken nuggets are nice everything I've tried so far has been a, a, a has been a, a winner so Tesco did have a three for five pounds deal on um, I don't know if it's still going on as they currently have a four for six pound deal on with corn products not the whole range but enough that you can get a good selection so if you're a corn virgin, then have a crack at that and see what you think. But for me, it's a real positive. So if you want chicken nuggets or if you want some sausages for half a sin or a sin and not the um, the highest sin variety, then, then great. So uh, that's it. It's a bit of a ramble, but hey, um, I, there was a couple of things that I just wanted to kind of know. Way day video tomorrow as normal. Um, and I'm going to try and be on plan. I haven't been on plan massively because of, I went out last Thursday for work, which was great fun. And... Then obviously it was Easter weekend, so I'm hoping that this week I can get back on plan. Uh, and as we move into some slightly better, warmer weather, uh, I'll start seeing a bit more commitment coming back and a bit more motivation. But also thank you for the response to the Easter Monday video that I did. People seem to really kind of re respond to that. I'm always a little bit worried that they come off as a bit patronising or a little bit... Um, oh, I can't think of the word right now, but maybe like I think I'm some kind of slimming world guru or weight loss guru. I'm not at all. I don't... Trying, I don't intend to come across that way, uh, but just having up and down and, and yo yo throughout the last, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 years, um, I just I just try and get my thoughts across on, on camera and how I feel. And if somebody else kind of takes a nugget away from that, then that's great. So thank you for the response to that. That came across uh, really well. Um, some of you took some really good. Uh, or, or left some really good feedback about that. So that's that's great. Um, and I will probably call in. Well, I'll check in with you uh, tomorrow. So until then, I'll see you later. <coughs> okay, um, ow, it's still warm. I just thought, I thought for the, uh, oh, sorry if you can hear like, the oven in the micro, the micro's gonna ping in a second. That's the remnant, the last bit of my, dinner, of my tea. There we are. Um, I thought what I'd do is I'd have like a bit of a, a mixing kind of thing. And I was planning on having a, um, like a chicken and bacon wrap with the chicken pieces from corn. So I said earlier on that I was like the corn king or whatever it was and I'd suddenly, I'd liked everything. These are the pieces, they don't, I mean they looked a bit mank in the first place, but I put them in the microwave for 10 minutes like it said and they've come out like this, so. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what I've done, I don't know whether I can't follow simple instructions, but there's absolutely no way I am putting these crispy bits of whatever the hell this is into a wrap. So luckily I had, some kind of premonition that this perhaps wouldn't go as well as I was thinking. I mean, can't, how, I'm not even gonna to attempt to eat it. I didn't, I didn't put it in my mouth. But I've got some nuggets. 
and some of the Swedish meatball things in the oven now. So this is going to go straight. In fact, uh, no, I'm not going to put it straight in the bin on camera. That's gross. Uh, but I will take a photo and I will end this video with a photo of what I actually have for my tea. I've got bacon and nuggets and meatballs and I've got some hoops in the microwave. So I think it's safe to say that I found the first corn thing that I didn't quite like. So um, I shall put a picture to end this video of what I actually have for my tea, but uh, in the review of all things corn, the pieces have been something of a failure. So uh, until way day tomorrow, I'll uh, catch you later.